I said to myself, I'm going to be a podcast and I'm going to break the stigma on mental illness. I bought a microphone from Amazon and it stayed in the box. I literally did not open the box for over a year, maybe even a year and a half. I still have this box. Every time I travel, this box comes with me with my microphone. It's a reminder that we have to unravel boxes and get the fear out of the way in order to create our dreams. Welcome to Hope to Recharge podcast. Thank you for joining me here again today. Every week we meet here to break the stigma around mental health and to bring you insight and inspiration and lots of practical tips from personal stories or professionals around the world that share how they turn their journey of mental health into healing or to thriving. Together we will break the stigma one story at a time. And mental health together is always better. Thank you for joining me here today. I'm your host, Matana. Let's get started. This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp.com, the leading online platform for therapy. If you're looking for easy access to thousands of licensed therapists, go to BetterHelp.com forward slash hope to recharge. That's BetterHelp.com forward slash hope to recharge. No better time to get started with mental health on Mental Health Awareness Month. That is now May. Take advantage of this 10% off. Just press the link in the show notes. BetterHelp.com forward slash hope to recharge. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Hope to Recharge podcast. Thank you for being here. Today, we are celebrating two years to this podcast, two years to Hope to Recharge, two years of breaking the stigma, two years of spreading hope, inspiration, insights, tips, two years of growth, my internal growth, two years of excitement, hearing people's stories, how they evolved, two years of tears. Two years of gratitude, attitude of gratitude. Just thinking back what these last two years were like is enough to make my brain melt. Unbelievable. So two years and two weeks ago, I called my mentor, Heather, and I said to her, I know you from social media. A few years ago when I saw you online, I said, I'm going to reach out to her when I decide to start my podcast and she's going to be my mentor. And I didn't even know that she does this. I never knew that she was a mentor. I just saw, I would listen to her podcast. I would see her energy. I would love her energy. And I said, I want someone like her to walk alongside me. And I bought a microphone maybe three and a half years ago. I bought a microphone. I went to the Summit of Greatness by Lewis House. He was one of my biggest inspiration in starting my podcast. I used to love listening to every single episode. I would be fascinated. He taught me so much just about storytelling and asking. And it was one of my highlights back in the day before I had my podcast to just listen to every episode that he published. I said to myself, I'm going to be a podcast and I'm going to break the stigma on mental illness. I bought a microphone from Amazon and it stayed in the box. I literally did not open the box for over a year. It moved homes with me. In the original box, not opened, I was so nervous. I was so nervous about the idea of starting a podcast and failure that I didn't even open the box. I still have this box. It sits by my desk because it reminds me that it came alongside me. And every time I travel, this box comes with me with my microphone. It's a reminder that we have to unravel boxes and get the fear out of the way in order to create our dreams. If we get stuck in our fear of failure, our box will never ever open and then the gifts won't come out. And I believe that if I didn't find Heather and I didn't find my mentors like John Israel, my uh, Greg, Jesse Itzler, Heather was my rock, is my rock, still is my rock till this day. If I didn't have my people walk alongside me, including my family, my cheerleaders, Ari, that listens to hours and hours of my fears and my anxiety and my thoughts and processing with me, my children, my friends, my community, my listeners, my audience. I don't like saying my, I have to say our because it's really ours, but it's my mentors. If I didn't have them, my box with my microphone would still be closed and I wouldn't have even one episode. Now we have over a hundred, I think 160 or 150 episodes, over 55 episodes on gratitude, on the topic of healing with gratitude. 
the power of gratitude. How do we use gratitude for healing? And then the rest of the episodes are my thoughts, my story, different insights that I have throughout my journey of evolving till today. Many interviews of other heroes that overcame mental illness or walk through mental illness or are still battling mental illness, practitioners, therapists, healers, psychiatrists, all walks of life I have on this podcast. And it all started by me opening that box. First of all, for having a dream, having this big vision, and then taking the first step of buying the microphone, and then waiting a year or year and a half to open the box, literally open the box. And I am not joking. I did not open the box when I received it. And then when I called Heather, she's like, open the box. And I said, I know nothing about technology. I know nothing about podcasting. She said, don't worry. We're going to take it one step at a time. Find your Heather. All I could say to you, when you have dreams, find your Heather. Whoever it is, find your Heather that will long walk alongside you and do it step by step in your pace. She went to my pace. She said it to my schedule. She said it to my ability. She still is just an incredible human, an incredible mentor, an incredible coach. And we did it step by step. She said, open it and I'm going to show you how to plug it in. Open it, plug it in. And I, and once you plug it in, we're going to turn it on. And then we're going to just practice talking into the microphone. And then you're going to set maybe 60 seconds of content. And then you're going to think about questions. And then you're going to think about a name. And we did it all together, everything together, side by side. Now opening my microphone, I don't even have to think about it when I interview. I just 30 seconds before to between 30 seconds to five minutes, depending where I am at that day. I meditate. I say my prayer. I always ask God to guide my mouth that I shouldn't hurt anyone and I should have the insight of what to say. And then I just start talking. It's not even a fear factor. And Heather reminded me how far I came with my fear. I was so afraid. What if no one's going to like my content? What if no one's going to listen? What if it's going to fail? What if I'm going to hurt someone? What if I'm going to hurt my family? Do you sometimes feel stuck? Do you wish you can be somewhere else? Do you have a vision of where you want to get to, but you just don't know what the first step to take in order to get to that life that you're dreaming of? Many people ask me, what did I do in order to create this wellness that I'm living in? How did I shift from deep depression, from extreme anxiety to a thriving life, to a productive life, to a life full of joy? I put many things into practice and it's every single day. Many of you know that it's gratitude, a healthy mindset, boundaries, self-love, and one of the most important things that many people don't speak about, forgiveness, self-forgiveness and forgiveness to others, essential for healing. If you want to work one-on-one with me in order to move forward towards that dream life that you have a vision of, click the link below in the show notes. It's a custom-made program for you, one-on-one with me. We will develop a concrete program that you can implement in your life so you can create a better well-being. Click the link below. Looking forward to working with you. And now enjoy the rest of the episode. What if no one's going to like my content? What if no one's going to listen? What if it's going to fail? What if I'm going to hurt someone? What if I'm going to hurt my family? The what if, the fears, was the list was beyond. But once I started, the biggest step I think for me was opening that box and calling Heather. That was my biggest step. I took the first step. And then once I started committing to it, it became easier. So I always say the first step in anything you do is the hardest step. But you got to take that first step. You got to start walking. If you don't start walking into healing, into achieving your success with your relationships, with your finances, with your healing, with your vision, with whatever it is, with your physical health, whatever it is, take that first step. Find the people that you want to surround yourself with for inspiration. Find your community. Find your boundaries and make them very clear. Set your clear boundaries and stay in your circle where you feel comfortable, that it feels like you, but then step out of your comfort zone slowly, like Heather did with me, okay? Open the box, plug it in, turn it on. Each one was a little bit out of my comfort zone. And now I take my microphone everywhere I go, I plug it in. Okay, Ari plugs it in because I don't know how to do it yet, but I know how to turn it on and I know how to talk. 
And I don't have that shaky voice anymore. I don't have that scrambled eggs in my mind when I start talking. It just comes. And if I didn't have that leap of faith and that trust in myself that Heather trusted in me and held my hand and God helped me, God, really, every single day, I do my gratitude to God that he brought me every day this far in order to go a little bit further. And he helps me with my fear, with my struggles with my anxiety, with my vision, with my dreams. So thank you, Hashem. Thank you, God, for helping me, for holding my hand, for never letting me go, never letting go of me, I should say. So on this two-year anniversary, I want to thank God from the depths of my heart, my whole full heart, for sending me my journey, through my journey, so I can inspire others to step into their journey of healing and to inspire others to have hope, that there is hope, that there is healing, there is light. The sun comes up after the darkness every single day. I want to thank all of my mentors, my community, my listeners. I want to thank myself. I want to, I'm going to thank myself. I always tell my clients, when I work with my clients on mindfulness and gratitude, I often say, write 30 days. Every day, take a little sticky note and write yourself a thank you note for where you showed up for yourself. And they look at me like, what? It's the number one thing that no one understands in gratitude. When I say to them, write yourself a thank you note, they always get confused. What? I'm going to write myself a thank you card? I'm thanking myself for what? Yes, gratitude comes to us. And if we don't choose us, no one's going to choose us. So choose yourself. Choose yourself, show up for yourself, say thank you to yourself for your boundaries, for your vision, for conquering your fears, for doing the hard work. Thank yourself for forgiving and letting go. Thank you yourself for doing hard stuff. Thank yourself for having hope, for not giving up for crying through the night if it's crying through the night, for speaking your mind when it's hard to speak your mind, for stepping out of the stigma when the stigma is so strong. Thank yourself. Start with one post-it note a day, put it into a Ziploc for 30 days, and then go back and look at the 30 thank you little notes that you wrote yourself. Gratitude comes to us as well. And I want to thank myself for not getting in my own way and for overcoming my fear of failure and the fear of shame and embarrassment for the fact that I was willing to actually create with God and with my staff, my incredible staff, to create this amazing platform of hope to recharge and so much more is to come what i want to announce today the next box that we are unraveling right here right now on this special day of our second year anniversary we are going to introduce to you something that is coming in october i am opening the next box my first box that's sitting by my side it's right in front of me sarah blakely has her little red knapsack this is going to be my box that's going to come with me forever God willing. So the next box that we are unraveling is our retreat that we're going to let you know about in the next few weeks, a little bit more detail. So stay tuned. It's going to be a gratefulness retreat in October, mid-October. We're going to tell you dates. I'm going to tell you more information about it in the next few episodes. So stay tuned. We're taking a very small group of like-minded people that are eager and excited to take the next step into living a full, grateful heart, a gratefulness heart, a heart of gratefulness, a life of gratefulness. I know that I use that for, I use my term, a full, grateful heart often. And a full, grateful heart means that even when nothing is happening, everything is happening. Even when nothing is happening, everything is happening. And we live with this open joy and anticipation for what life can bring us even in very hard times. So we live gratitude for the full gratefulness of life, the great fullness of life, no matter what is going on, the good, the bad, the ugly, the sad, the anger, the joy, the excitement. And when you practice gratefulness, when you practice the proper gratitude, you start moving into the state of gratefulness. And we're going to discuss this topic in length on this retreat. We're going to have speakers, we're going to have workshops, we're going to have exciting stuff, fun food, because I'm a foodie. We're going to have music, we're going to have massages. It's going to be a very exciting three and a half day retreat in Boca Raton, Florida. It's going to be awesome. We're really handpicking only 10 to 15 people. 
that are fitting this profile and we're going to have a very in-depth way of picking the right people. Not everybody will be able to join because we wanted to be very committed to the idea of transforming ourselves into being this person that can live with gratitude constantly and use the power of gratitude, use the gratitude effect for everything in our life, for our relationships, for our health, for our mind, for our mindset, for our boundary, everything, for our dreams, okay? So stay tuned. All the information is going to come soon. This is the box that we're unraveling now. We're unraveling this box. And I had the vision of what I'm going to say. I already wrote it down a few years ago, what I'm going to say at my first retreat. And my first hope to recharge retreat. So this is going to be the gratefulness retreat. And I can't wait to see who will be the lucky one to join us. We're going to have amazing speakers. There are some that you heard on the podcast already and some that you didn't. I hope it's going to be a life changing event for most of the people that join, if not all of them. I'm going to thank you now for joining me on this journey of the last two years for the people that joined my mastermind for my clients that trusted in me and gave me the opportunity to hold their hand and walk them through the healing process that I had my mentors walk alongside me. Thank you for trusting in me. Thank you for teaching me about awesomeness and about greatness and about hope, joy, pain, and how to walk through it. My clients are my biggest mentors. I I'm so in awe on each and every one of them. They inspire me. The stories are remarkable, really remarkable. And I am so grateful. Heather, no words to describe my gratitude to you for everything you helped me with. To my staff, to my mentors, my community, I love you. Let's see where the next two years evolve. Let's see how many more boxes we're going to open and unfold and create the next dreams. I love you all. What is your dream? What is your little box that you're holding closed that you want to fulfill? Share with us or share with us a box that you were willing to open, a box that you held closed for a while and you were willing to open and take the leap of faith and not keep it closed, not keep that gift closed. What is that box for you? Bye till next time. Thank you for listening till the end. We highly appreciate all of our listeners and mental health together is better. You being here means a tremendous amount to us. If you enjoyed this episode and you would like some extra boost of information and inspiration that is not on the podcast, you can go to our website, hope to recharge.com. There's some premium content that for the cost of a cup of coffee, you can download some amazing information that will help you a tool that will guide you through life. So don't skip a beat. Don't hesitate. Go to hope to recharge.com and see what other offerings we have there for your mental health well-being. Thank you for joining us. And remember, if you enjoyed this and you want to say thank you, the best way of gratitude will be by you leaving a review or a comment or sharing this with a loved one. There is no greater form of gratitude for us. Thank you. Bye till next time.